beautiful. But to me, it's okay because, you know, pretty pictures don't mean pretty results. I don't want to discourage anybody, but so he did. Uh, let me show you this one. Roll out test. I'll finish in a minute, in five more minutes. Can't play? Okay, why not? AVI? Oh, thank you. I think now it should work. Yeah, there you go. So this is what he simulated. My student did, did this. You can actually see the movement. You can see the rotation here. It's, it's really truly unbelievable. He's, he's now working in New York. He's a PE and SE and everything. And you can do this with LS Dyna. LS Dyna, I think trial version is free online. But you cannot, you need a full version to do this kind of working. Okay, so I'll quickly wrap up. Just give me a few more minutes. So, that's the modeling he did, okay? And then you have, and he came up with his own uh, validation. Uh, some of you must have heard this uh, uh, yield line theory, yield line theory for slabs. So you, he used yield line theory, he used this uh, LS Dyna, and then he combined and validated all the results. But that's not everything, that's not everything. Now, we came up with this, all these uh, Results, we are happy, everyone is excited, but we wanted to be more happy, right? So, this time we wanted to do a few other things. So, we wanted to do full scale tests, actual slopes, right? Very long, very tall slopes. We cut them, we actually cut them, excavated. I mean, not me, but my contractors did. And Srikant, very mischievous kid, he took my car and parked it there. Tell him that, Jagdish. He parked my car there, okay? <laughs> That's my car. Hmm? That's my car. <laughs> no, actually, so, uh, what happened was the contractor who was doing all this work, he was so excited. He had a friend who is the owner of what's called boneyard. What's the boneyard is all the uh, cars that are really, you know, yeah, they're the ones, scrapped cars, they're all sent to the boneyard. So, th that guy, is, he's a rich guy, he, he had a big business. So, he had that boneyard. So, he said, I'll send you a car. So he brought on his own trailer, his own money, everything. He said, take this car. So he gave me this car, free of charge. So it's my car. <laughs> <laughs> so we made three, three different slopes. How do you like this? Huge, huge slopes and three different uh, slopes. Then <clears throat> we did all this work, credit to... Srikanth and, and a few other students, I'll show you their pictures. We made fabricated rocks with concrete. Those black, black dots, they are needed for digital uh, capturing of the motion. I'll show you how it is done, I'll, how it was done. And then <clears throat> we had these uh, big, big dots, we had to calibrate it. So digitally, before you actually do the test, before you do the test, you create this digitally in your program. So the program has all the information about the ball. So it has three dimensional, all those faces, there are more than three uh, faces on that. There are eight faces minimum, but we also had extra faces. So there are at least four, 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 four plus 16 plus eight. So it's probably 24 faces on this because this is also sloped. So we had so many dots. So digitally you capture everything. And it's digitally, the program remembers, the program remembers and recreates that digital ball inside the program. 
okay. That is what it is very sophisticated program and uh, very expensive program too, but I had a lot of money to spend, so I just spent it and not my personal money. So, before you do actual tests, you have to put these targets, capture the uh, dots in all directions, capture the slope and do the actual calibration of the slope. So, the program remembers the slope, remembers the ball. There is a reason why it should remember both the ball and the slope. I will show you in a minute. And then, when you roll the ball from the top, drop it, it rolls down on this slope, it captures the motion of the ball and it will give you the profiles. That is what it does. Very, very sophisticated program. So, the barrier is here and the ball is falling down, okay. So, it is able to capture the motion. It will capture the velocities, it will capture the bounce heights, it will capture the rotation, everything, 100% uh, uh, capturing of all the information. So, I am just trying to see where it is linked. So, and there are some models here. There are some theoretical models, we will not go into that. So, this is what it looks like. Remember the top of the slope I showed you initially, one slide, the top of the slope. So, we lift it all the way from here to here. From here to here is another 30, uh, 30 feet, 30, 40 feet and then another 60 feet. So, that is close to 100 feet. 100 feet is about 33 meters, okay. That is how much it drops. And then this is what happens. Look at my car. They are damaging my car. Oh, it is not. I am looking at it myself and enjoying it. <laughs> Sorry. So, again I had to do the same thing. Open with. No, no, I don't think so. That's not the reason. It's uh, completely frozen. Okay. okay. Now I can try. So have patience. I, 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 I'm, I'm sure you'll enjoy as much I was doing. So here. Okay. Look at that. It's coming. It's coming. It's real time and uh, it's damaging my car. There you go. So, this is, this is a reality. If, if the rock falls, this is how it will behave and you can get really, re I mean, a lot of people have got injured by this kind of rock falls. Some people have even died. So, it is a very serious business. So, that is what happens and then you capture all of it. It is all captured in the, uh, in the digital format. So, we are able to find out the <clears throat> bounce heights, the uh, velocities, everything. So, that is the bounce height. You can see the bounce height. So, that is not able to stop the, uh, stop the actual uh, rolling. Now, I think I have another one. I do not think there is a sound. Is there sound? No, sound, is sound is not there. Sound is no, it is okay. That is not it is okay, it is not it. Okay, there you go. It is real time. See how fast it is coming? It, before you know it is already there. There is very good sound effect. You can actually hear that coming. So, this is how we have fun in our uh, spare time. <laughs> and what you see here are the uh, high speed cameras. You have high speed camera here, high speed camera here and other cameras are actually f uh, focused on the slope. So, it actually captures the ball from the time it is released all the way to the, uh, to the, to the bottom. 
and you can get the real time velocities, bounce heights, profiles, everything. So, I think you are tired of listening to me. I should stop. Okay. So, after that, we had very good luck. Very, uh, we were able to get a lot of very good results. We changed the uh, actual uh, specifications. We were able to predict. Uh, predict all uh, bounce heights and uh, everything very nicely. So these are the profiles. So these are the profiles we get from the electronic uh, digital ball and the slope. Okay, so you can see the profiles, how much it is bouncing, everything. Yes, that's what is done. You can have a ditch type there. Yes, so you can do it. right. That's what we did. I mean, it's a common practice. Just that the ditch, uh, the specification ditch is very small, so it's missing the ditch. You see, if the width is not adequate for the ditch, it will not hit the ditch. No, you cannot see; they are all falling wherever. There is no real. Uh, you cannot predict where they fall. So ditch is only here. So that's not enough. So, yes, it's a good point. And then these profiles, again, see how the profiles are? So, it, it's, and all of this was uh, actually captured on Pontos, the actual uh, computer system. And you, uh, we did a lot of statistical analysis. I think this is, uh, Srikant did this again. Um, and finally, we gave our uh, uh, sponsor, all the revised specifications, which they have already incorporated. They uh, adopted that, can I Thanks. So that's all I have to present to you. I have for my presentation today. Um, lots of students did a lot of work. I think I have my, give me a minute, please. Oh, I don't think they have. Oh. Sorry, I don't have um, the picture of all my students who are actually involved in this project. There are like 20 students. So, um, but anyway, thank you for your uh, attention. And if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer. Yes, sir. sir which type of failure model you have used for this impact uh, simulation and abattle? For raw field, we use different failure models. No, I, I, we don't, didn't use the abacus. We used the LS Dyna. Okay. LS Dyna is a, uh, it's a rigid body motion. It will tell you motion. It, uh, yeah. And then the concrete barrier is concrete material properties. So it gives you stresses and strains and cracks and even spalling. It shows you where the concrete will spall. It's a very powerful program. Sir, there are chances when the rock is going to fall. Mm -hmm. It will not be the same shape. Correct. Yes. So how can we have to... You see, we used many different shapes, hoping that we capture all the shapes. Right. But it's hard. It, you are right. It cannot be, you know, so it's not uniform. Absolutely. Anything else? All right, looks like.